Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video here in Ice Moto. Today, it's a very beautiful evening as you can see outside. So I figured, why not go out and make a motovlog. So right now, I'm currently on my way to the gas station because I have to fuel up my bike. And there it is. And let's turn. Nope. Yeah, fuel prices are so high. I will like stop caring about this because they're so expensive right now. Hopefully the police won't come here. You know, gas stations and red lights are the most scariest places to be when you're on a tune moped. A hundred kroners, which is like maybe nine euros, I don't know. Yes, some nice revs. Let's get out of here. All right, now we have fuel in the bike and we can go outside and pop some wheelies. So if you look right here, you might notice that it looks a little bit unusual right here. That's because a couple of days ago I uh, dropped my bike and, uh, and my plastic broke right here where you put on the tongue clock. So I 3D printed my own uh, and it, it looks okay, you know. It's only the first prototype, so I can make it look better, but it's gonna have to do for now. Uh, and then I'm actually gonna buy like a blue fuel knob or what you call it to make the bike look really nice. <laughs> So yeah, because the green color doesn't really match with the blue bike. Because I want like a blue uh, fuel knob and a thing that goes up like here and in here. So yeah, that is the plan. Oh, oh yes. So my plan right now is to go to one of my stunt spots and uh, practice stoppies on my bike. Like a week ago, I did a live stream on my YouTube channel. I don't know if you saw it or not, but somebody asked me during the live stream if uh, I could do stoppies. At the time, I didn't think that I would be able to do it, but uh, yeah, then I tried it out and I realized that I could do like decent stoppies. So the plan is to practice my stoppies right now. The only bad thing about stoppies is that my plastic breaks because my knee goes in like the plastic right here. So as you can see, there's a bit, really big track right there. So I'm gonna have to fix that up in some way. I don't really know how. Okay, let's do a wheel here. <laughs> like a dream. And a coaster. See if we can stop in this intersection. Oh, yeah. That went great. Yeah, it's such a nice day. It has like rain for three weeks straight right now. So it's super nice to be outside right now and ride a bike because it's almost the end of the summer and uh, my plan is to sell the derby like in uh, October or something to afford my 125. <laughs> I actually was at McDonald's today uh, for a job application. So if I get that job, I will probably get a 125 by the next spring. And a lot of you guys ask me what bike I want to buy. I want to buy a Husqvarna or a Husabari because yeah, they're like blue and I like them. But I mean a uh, KTM EXE would also be nice. As long as it's a two-stroke, I'll take it, you know. And uh, I know that if I buy a four-stroke, a lot of you guys will like disown me or what you call it. Yeah, yeah. I know that you won't be happy if I buy a four-stroke. But my opinion is that it's better than nothing. But I will probably buy a two-stroke. Oh, hey. Let's stand up. Nope. But now I'm at this town spot. So let's try out a stoppy then. Yeah, then my microphone got really bad, but it will get better soon. Okay, hopefully there's no gravel here. Oh yes. <laughs> 
I really have to bleed my brakes because I don't have enough braking power. I like pulled in my front brake to the handlebar. That is not good. Oh shit, my bike is leaking fuel. Oh my god, I did not screw my fork. Oh no. So a lot of you guys asked me to make a tutorial on how to polish uh, exhaust system. And I will make one soon. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a third person view so you can see when I do the stop piece. Let's do it. Okay, so right now I'm on my way to Enduro track to ride some Enduro on my Derby Santa. So enjoy some raw wheelies while I ride here. Now we're in uh, Uppland Sväsby, which is north of where I live. And inside of here, the Enduro track should be. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully there won't be too much water in the tracks. But I still have to wash my bike, so it doesn't really matter, but yeah. Oh, I cannot see with my goggles. Let's do a quick face reveal here then. Hello. Oh. I did make a YouTube video here once, like a year ago, but back then I didn't even have a thousand followers and yeah, it, the video was like really shitty. But now I'm back. Hopefully we won't run into any real motocross riders. Oh, these SM tires are not treating me right inside of this forest. Okay, hill climb. Man, I want to buy like a motocross that I can ride real motocross and also like take out on the street. Yeah, just do the bike lifestyle, you know. Oh, it was so long ago I rode here. I do not remember the tracks. Oh, this is steep. Oh. Someday I want to ride over here and bring uh, more protection and make like a real um, enduro video because I want to make as much videos as possible on the derby before I sell it but but you know recording videos is not as easy as you might think or I, I mean I can like go out and record a video but I want to make like higher quality videos and uh, that is the problem I could uh, like make videos like three or four times a week but uh, then it will be like no editing on them, no planning, just me going out and riding. And you know, that might be fun, but I like to make like more uh, fun videos, you know. I like to make videos where I like try out other bikes. You know, when I tried out the 125 and the 500 CC and uh, yeah, those types of videos is the most fun to make. Or the most fun videos to make is the, my stunt edits, but, but the edits don't get as much views as when I talk. And to be honest, I do not like to talk because, I think I've said it before, my English like sucks. I much rather speak Swedish in my videos, but, but then I know that a lot of you guys won't be able to enjoy my content. But I might make a Swedish motovlog one day. 
and I suppose I can add like subtitles on that video so you English speaking guys also can view it. Oh, holy shit! That might not look steep on the camera, but that is fucking steep also. Oh! Okay, I think the lap is almost finished. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, I used to ride a mountain bike when I was uh, younger. And that was really fun, you know. And because I love being out on the forest and riding. But the only thing with mountain bike is that it's so exhausting to ride. Um, because you have to like oh, pedal and stuff. And I have like wanted to drive a motocross and enduro for my whole life. But uh, when I was smaller, my parents didn't allow me to ride motocross because they thought it was dangerous. Which it is, but it would have been a dream of mine. But then I bought my moped and they didn't really want me to buy a moped because they thought that that was also dangerous. But I still bought it and I think that if they knew what I would do on my moped back then, they would never allow me to buy a moped also. But now we're gonna head out of this forest because it was really dark inside of here. So yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe, maybe drop a nice comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye!